This has totally spiralled out of control for her, hasn't it? Yes, yeah. And you say that, I mean, as many people have sort of said in our links here that she's crazy, she's this, but you don't see her like that. You see her as much more of a fragile character. Yeah, I think um, things have gotten quite intense and she has lost a bit of perspective by the time she's wearing the wedding dress, <laughs> obviously. But, um, but I'm trying to play her as a human being, so hopefully that comes across. Is that hard to do? Is it hard to find the human side of somebody when she's behaving like that? It's quite good fun because she's just very intense. I think she, we're all like that, but she's just a bit more intense and like tenfold, really. Yeah. The misery think, stuff yeah. was really good. Yeah, it was fun, and there was was a little bit like a nod to misery. We had the music playing in the background yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So. But also, where did that motorway come from? <laughs> I've never seen that motorway <laughs> before. Hot and bypass, yeah. apparently. <laughs> right. Yeah. But, but um, you, because of that scene, when you push the stuntman he actually really went over the bridge yes Lloyd he was fantastic he um, was about 20 feet high the, the bridge because we built it specially and we had all the cardboard boxes and um, a mattress but he actually did just fall away from me which was quite your heart sort of because you yeah. just let yeah. go of someone yeah and, and was it true that your and I've been as this sort of spoils the moment slightly but your dad burst out laughing <laughs> No, that was with the chicken rather than the fall. Yes. Chicken in yeah, the wedding when dress. I come in with the what chicken. Made him laugh? The I chicken think it was just. What, what, what do you think it's made just him laugh? It's just outrageous. Isn't it? <laughs> it's quite a look. Your daughter wearing a wedding dress that she's 20 years too old for. <laughs> now we saw, um, obviously, the, the cause of all of her pain really has been Moira. And at the funeral, we saw the moment when when she slapped her. Yeah, is it? Could I be? Am I wrong in thinking that maybe Moira might be sort of the next person? that she targets? Well, she could actually become a friend. It could be the opposite. Now really? that uh, James is out of the way, um, it, it's quite weird because the women sort of spend more time together and Emma's very sorry for what she's done, obviously, so she sees that as recompense. And so, um, the inquest, obviously, this week, you would imagine that, um, we've got a clip of it in, a, in just a moment, that this would be the time when it would begin to unravel. Yes, absolutely. Because um, Emma's been medicate, self-medicating beforehand, she can't live with herself. The, the inquest comes up and she's got to decide whether to tell the truth to the boys. Mm, so well, the question is, will she it. be able yeah. to, will well, she be strong is, enough? It was also her <laughs> manipulation of Ashley which seemed to fire up the viewers yeah, as well. Yeah, that was horrible. It? it was. I was... Uh, it's, I felt like a bully, to be honest, yeah. that yeah. day. Yeah, and of course I arrived with a, uh, an apple pie. So I think people thought I was going to poison him, <laughs> which was a red <laughs> you herring. But anything anything um, what's know. the reaction been like to her when you're walking around the street? What, what do people come up and say to you? It's great because people are just like, well, you're going to prison soon, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So I think people kind of want me to be caught, but they don't want me to be caught because it's fun watching me try to hide it and cover it up constantly. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves a villain, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And you love doing it. As I well. do. Yeah. It's great because there are no two days that are the same, so... I, I'm, I'm surprised by what she does next, so... Yeah. I love the fact that, I mean, she's an unlucky bride. I mean, you, and actually, you play an unlucky bride because your scariest scene was actually in Casualty. You were in a, you were in a wedding dress then, weren't exactly, you? Exactly, and we drowned, Tristan Gamble and I, yeah, who's now in Coronation Street, after, yeah, so... And you don't, you're not good with water and all that sort I of thing I don't anyway. like water, no, I don't like dark water, and we had to film five metres below the oh surface in a car. We had to be trapped in a car together on our wedding day. So you wouldn't be any good in the jungle, then? No, I wouldn't be as good as Adam Thomas. He's by any means. Great, isn't he? <laughs> he's fantastic, isn't he? Did you know he'd do really well? Yeah, because he's so sweet and he's he's just like a teddy bear and he's, what you see is absolutely what you get and he's he's so supportive of us and he's been supportive of the, of the people in the camp. Yeah. yeah, he's got a good energy, hasn't he's he? He's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, but did you know that he was as scared as he is of spiders? Yes, we all knew he was frightened of spiders because we were just saying, why are you going if you're frightened what of you spiders? Doing? But I think it's he's, he's overcome a you know a fear and he's doing really well. So, um, I did, have you noticed the smell of gingerbread in here this morning? Because yes. you are um, oh, obviously we've got all our beautiful gingerbread houses, and you are a keen baker. I am at the moment. Yes. Have you <laughs> attempted a gingerbread house yet? No, not yet. I'm just uh, I'm still doing Victoria Sponge and playing catch up. But I, I was watching, and it looks great. Uh, Merry so, Christmas. So is, it, is that what you do on your on your days off? Yes. Yeah, I find it very relaxing to just try and bake a cake. <laughs> yeah. What um, so? Gin, um, what do you say? Your specialist. Uh, Cake is I like, like well, I like Bakewell tart. Yeah. I like scones. I like 
Victoria Sponge. Anything sort of afternoon tea. I wish you'd have brought some of this with you. This is all sounding really nice. <laughs> I want to try it out. Um, good luck at the NTAs as Thank well. Thank you. Because uh, we don't know whether or not you've been nominated yet, but it's definitely a storyline that's on people's radars. So Thank you. Yeah, you should this be. Space. For yes, sure. Absolutely. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks for having me. If you enjoyed that, there's more of the same right here. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning.